So hopefully you guys noticed on this one that uh, the dividend here is not in descending order of degree. So we'll need to do that. So our highest degree here is V to the power of 3, which may have been the tricky part. Uh, but then I had to have the V squared right here, so that's uh, minus 4V squared. Then I'd have the V's, which is a negative 30V, and then a minus 10. Now, not only that, but some of you notice that this isn't really in that format where, what did they put it, uh, A minus C? So we should switch that around. Not that we, it's going to make a difference in this case, because uh, the V was positive as well. And so was the 3. So we're going to take the opposite of that 3 and put it in the box. Now we're just looking at the coefficients of each of these. Again, if it helps, put that 1 in front of the V cubed. So our coefficients 1, negative 4, negative 30, and then the <coughs> constant negative 10. We got our line right here. We'll drop the 1. So then I got the... Sorry, that is a negative 3. Thank you. Did I, I said negative 3, didn't I? I just didn't write it. Dang it. Thank you for that. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, which would then give us uh, negative 7. And then I got negative 7 times negative 3, which is a positive 21. So negative 30 plus 21 is a negative 9. And then we do that negative 9 times the negative 3, which is a positive 27. And when I add that to the negative 10, I get a positive 17, which is the remainder. So that's not a big deal. Uh, but let's look at our coefficients. Uh, the 1 will be a coefficient of v squared, because I'm just going to take these each down a degree. So I'd have v squared, then v. v to the power of 0 is just 1. And then we're going to add that 17 over 3 plus v, which is our original uh, divisor there. So that's our final simplified expression.